As you know, for tomorrow's class we'll be doing a cow eye dissection. In order to be able to correctly identify all the parts during the lab, you'll need to watch this video and learn about all the components that make up the eye. We'll go to the eSchool Online Eye Dissection website and go through their tutorial on the parts of the eye. So this is their tutorial website and we'll click on Eye Anatomy and that will open up a new window that has the parts of the eye. So we'll start with the cornea. The cornea is the eye's clear outer coating that covers the iris and pupil. The cornea is made of many layers, which makes it effective for focusing light as well as protecting the structures underneath. When people get refractive surgery to correct eyesight, the cornea is what is reshaped to improve how it focuses light. The iris is the eye's colored part that has muscles to control the amount of light that can enter. How does that work? Well, let's talk about the pupil and we'll find out. The pupil is the black opening located in the center of the iris that allows light to enter the eye. The pupil gets smaller in bright light and larger in darkness. There are two muscles in the iris that cause this movement. When the sphincter pupillae contracts, the pupil narrows, and when the dilator pupillae contracts, the pupil widens. If you have ever gone to the optometrist or the eye doctor and they dilate your eyes to get a better look inside the pupil, sometimes they'll give you funny sunglasses to wear outside because there would be too much light let in and your eye can't narrow the pupil on its own. Alright, next we'll move on to the sclera. The sclera is the tough white protective tissue that covers all of the eyeball except the cornea. It provides protection and structure for the inner parts of the eye. And on the sclera, you can see the blood vessels. And as we already know, the blood vessels are the body's tubes through which the blood flows. And the two types of blood vessels are arteries and veins. Now, there are six muscles that are attached to each of your eyeballs. They allow you to look up, this one, down, this one, and all around, these two. Now, those are the basic parts of the external eye, but there are six parts that you can see during a dissection. So we'll view a sliced eye, and the first part is the lens. The lens is the curved clear part that is located inside the eye for focusing light on the eye's back lining, or retina, which we'll get to later. Attached to the lens are muscles that help it change shape to effectively focus light that is let in through the pupil. The next part is the aqueous humor. The aqueous humor is the clear fluid that fills the front part of the eyeball and is located between the cornea, lens, and iris. During dissection, the aqueous humor will most likely come out when you cut into the front of the eyeball. And this part behind is called the vitreous humor. The vitreous humor is the jelly-like substance that fills the back part of the eyeball behind the lens. Now many students have trouble remembering which humor is which and where they are. Just think about how aqueous is close to the word aqua, which means water, so it is the watery humor. Also, aqueous starts with A, which puts it at the front of the alphabet and the front of the eye. So let's move on to the retina. The retina is the lining of the back of the eyeball that is made up of several layers of cells which are very sensitive to the light that enters the eye. These cells send messages to the brain which then translate the messages into pictures. How are these messages sent to the brain? Through the optic nerve. The optic nerve connects the eye to the brain, and if we look right where the optic nerve leaves the retina, we will find the blind spot. There are no light-sensitive cells in this area. Instead, when light comes into the eye, it is focused mostly on the fovea centralis, which is below the blind spot, so it would be located about right here on the retina. This focusing allows for sharp vision that we need for reading, driving, or any activity that requires visual detail. So that is all of the components, so we will close this window. Now that we have gone over all the parts of the eye and their functions, it is your assignment to complete the short virtual dissection to prepare you for tomorrow's lab. If you would like more realistic pictures from actual dissections, just click on the names of the eye parts in the table. So if you want a more realistic picture of a cornea, 
from an actual dissection. You just click on it in the table and it will show you pictures of an actual cornea from an actual dissection. And you can do that for all of these. So when you're ready, you just click begin dissection and you will dissect the eye by dragging the scalpel. And you have to place the correct parts in the correct boxes. So that's your assignment for before tomorrow. And you can find the link to the website posted online. And so that's it for now, and I will see you tomorrow for lab.